We start with an empty project folder that I have named getting dash started. The first file we need to create is the manifest.json file, which provides the metadata for our project. We usually need to provide the target version of ArangoDB and the entry point for our service. We set this in the engines object, which needs to contain the ArangoDB attribute. This project will be based on version 3 and all of its updates, which we indicate by having the caret symbol in front of the 3. In order to tell our service where the root of the project is, we need to set the main attribute to the file we will be using. We will write the bulk of our application in one file, index.js. Now we need to create this file in the root of our project folder. I'm using strict mode here as this aligns with all the examples in the documentation for Fox and is what you should use when creating Fox services. Fox handles the routes of the projects using a router. This behaves similar to ExpressJS, which is a common framework used with Node. We import this module using require, just like you would in a normal Node application. We then create a router from it that I will just name router. Lastly, we must tell our Fox context to actually use this router and actually route the HTTP requests through the application in the ways we define in this file. The first route that we will define is the almighty hello world route. To define a route, we use our router and then the method that corresponds to the HTTP verb. So for this first route, we use the get method. These router methods take in two parameters, the path, which we define as hello-world, and a callback function, which takes in a request object and a response object. The only thing this route will do is send a response of hello world to the client, which we can use the send method of the response object to do. Some additional methods available offer ways to further document, describe, and validate the routes. The response method allows us to define the content type for this route, which is just plain text, and describe what is in the response body. We can continue chaining our methods just like promises. Some additional methods I will include are just, just for the auto-generated documentation. Providing a summary just gives a brief look at what the route does, and then in the description we can describe it in a bit more detail. These documentation methods are optional, but as you can see, adding them is very easy, and once we install this service, we will be able to see the documentation in action. Let's take a look at installing a service, and then we will come back and add a route that does some very light validation. We can easily install a service using the web view. To start, click on the services in the side menu, add service, and then this brings you to the Fox store, which contains some nice example services, including a GeoJSON example, an example of using GraphQL with Fox, and some other interesting services that you can install simply by clicking the install button. You can also install services using GitHub and other remote options. However, we will use the upload option to upload our project. We need to click on upload file, and then in order to actually upload our service, we need to zip the whole project folder. Once zipped, you can just open or double click this file and then click on install. We need to provide a mount point, which serves as the root for our routes. We can leave run setup checked, and we will take a look at what that does in just a moment. Now we can click on install, and this brings us back, back to the services menu. Let's click into our newly added service, and now we can click on the API option to view our Swagger documentation. We only have the one route, and you can click on it to expand it, and then we have the option to try it. After you click execute, you can see the response information, which includes our hello world response body, and below that, the description that we provided. 